Hello, welcome to Adam's Lunch, where Adam, me, reviews food that friends have bought me while I recover from uh, knee surgery. So what we're gonna be reviewing today is Betty Lou's Strawberry Fruit Bar. Uh, there's a couple things on here that I think are important to note before we open it up. First of all, uh, it actually looks like a real piece of strawberry pie. So my expectations are high going in. I don't know how they fit. It doesn't feel like a real piece of pie. It's a pretty small wrapper. So I don't know how they did it, but it's on the cover. So it's got to be a real piece of pie in there. Kids love them. So that's a good sign. Kids love sugary cereals. Kids love kicks. So kids are going to love this pie, which is great. Um, Non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, those are all exciting things. They don't mean a whole lot to me, but, you know, important. Ingredients-wise and nutrition facts, there's 200 calories per one bar, which is a whole serving, three grams of fat. The strawberry fruit filling, which is mostly juice concentrate, is the largest ingredient. Um, there are strawberries in the fruit concentrate, but there's also pineapple, peach, apple, pear, tapioca um so that is a good sign maybe i don't know i would have maybe expected a little bit more strawberry in there for something that is a strawberry fruit bar oh i just noticed it doesn't say strawberry fruit pie so maybe i can temper my expectations a little bit it says strawberry fruit bar so i'll keep that in mind uh, fix my eyebrow there a little wild all right let's open it up oh made with love too that's very important made with love First impressions, a little flat, a little squashed, but that's okay. Smells good. Smells like a strawberry fruit bar, so that's a good sign. Uh, looking at this, I feel like it looks like a really big Fig Newton that also is maybe squashed at the same time. Like maybe this is the... the <laughs> Maybe this is like two Fig Newtons and they'd normally cut them, uh, but I just got the one that came out of the factory assembly line before they cut it. So anyway, let's bite in. Hmm. I'm gonna maybe edit out some of the chewing. Don't have to watch all this. Well, it's a little dry. I have some tea. You know, it's not bad. It is no fruit pie, that is for sure. But we did establish it's a fruit bar. So maybe that's okay. It is very Fig Newton-like. If you like Fig Newtons, um, filled with strawberry instead of figs, I think you will like this. Uh, the crust, I guess you could call it, since it's supposed to be pie, is um, soft, very soft, crumbly, moist, if I can use that word, if everyone's okay with that. Not dry, even though the, uh, like not dry as in it's like, um, it's not like a real pie crust, uh, but it is dry because I did have to drink after a bite. The flavor... I mean, I'm getting strawberry. Really, I'm just getting fruit. It's a it's a tarty fruit flavor. I wouldn't, if you didn't tell me this was a strawberry fruit bar, I don't think I would have guessed strawberry. I would have just said fruit. It's a fruit bar. Now, yeah, it's pretty good. If I were on the trail and I were hungry and wanted something a little sweet but not too sweet, this would probably be a pretty good snack. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna, I don't know, you'd, I'd have to meet you on the trail and you'd be like, Hey, do you want my strawberry fruit bar? I'm not going to eat it. And I'd be like, Oh, I don't have anything else in my pack and I'm kind of hungry. So yeah, I'll eat it because it's pretty good. But I don't think I'm going to go buying this 
as food for a, a long hike or a long run or anything like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind. But anyway, that's all I got for you today. Talking about the strawberry fruit bar. We've got a blueberry fruit bar that maybe I'll try next. We've got some savory uh, trail mix. If you have anything you want me to try and review, even if it should be disgusting, I'd be willing to give it a shot because I'm just sitting here recovering from my knee surgery.